What's up, Jones Bones? It is your girl, Unitedly Random, and currently I am binge eating some McDonald's chicken and uh, crinkle cut fries, and we're gonna talk about this right after this intro. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Okay, for those who don't know, I'm living in a different country. Let's do the crutch test. Mm, 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 mm. I'm in a different country and McDonald's has fried chickens. Fried chicken over here. So. I'm gonna just throw that into my mouth. Now, I am binge eating right now. I know it's what I'm doing. And I know it's because I was up a little bit too late. Here's the problem. I've set a bad habit for myself, honestly, in which I like I go out, party all night. And what exasperated that today is I actually went to work and my boss gave me coffee. I can't drink coffee. I know I can't drink coffee and I'm definitely not one of those people that can drink coffee at like four o'clock in the afternoon, but I did. So I'm really wide awake now. I'm not allowing myself to read my uh, webtoons anymore. I felt like I was just consuming my, like consumed in reading my webtoons. And the only thing I'm allowing myself now is like just kind of just scroll the internet. But I don't want scrolling the internet be to become my new webtoons. It, even though it's two o'clock in the morning and I'm still up, right? Um, so I started to hyperfixate on food. I started thinking, even though I'm not, I'm hungry. Now this video isn't to shame me, make me feel bad or anything. It's just to say, setbacks are likely. Now, when I started going to the gym, he wanted me to go like three times a week. He wanted me to change my diet immediately. I've been going to the gym for three months and I've just started getting around to having a healthy meal pretty much, I want to say, twice a week. Like having a salad and have, like just legitimately having a healthy meal, having a green drink. I just got around to having that. And even though I haven't lost weight, I've still changed eight pounds of fat into eight pounds of muscle. So, what I am here to say is... For you, Aaliyah, and for whoever might need to hear this in this moment, it is fine. Take it one step at a time. Now, I do feel like, at first, when I started going to the gym, I didn't feel like when I went back to America, I would continue to go to the gym. I didn't feel like this was something that I really wanted to do. And even now, when I go to the gym, I will complain pretty much a lot. But lately, I've been complaining less. You know what I mean? Lately, I've been feeling stronger, and I show up, even though it's only one day each week. One day each week in the span of three months has changed eight pounds of fat into eight pounds of muscle. So, I do plan on getting rid of fast food. Actually, I hate that bet. I'm living no seeds. And girl ain't got time to cook. But I'll give up fried foods. I'll give up fried foods for a month. Obviously not today. But hey. Take it step by step. If I started doing the gym and then gave up my french fries as soon as I started doing the gym, I wouldn't have stayed as consistent with the gym as I have. If I had to go to the gym three times a week, like he originally wanted me to go to the gym, three times a week, me. I wouldn't have stayed going to the gym. I would have gave up. But now that I've only been going once a week, I'm now looking into going twice a week. Now that the focus wasn't on losing weight, I'm now changing my diet. Not right now, but I 
That's a thumbnail right there. But come on. I may not go to sleep at a good time tonight. Actually, it's like 3 o'clock. I didn't go to sleep at a good time tonight. But now I understand myself more. And I'm looking forward to implementing changes in the future. All of this is to say, everything always works out for me. And it will always work out for you too. On that note, I'm going to eat some McDonald's until I feel really sick. And not bad about myself, but I just feel sick and bad in general, right? Because it's in my hand and it's down. But in the future, I will implement certain things to keep me from being up at 2 o'clock in the morning and hyper-focusing on food. So, yeah. Bye-bye. Also, McDonald's chicken. Burger King chicken. I'm finna eat this whole thing. I'm not even hungry, y'all. Like, it's a problem. <laughs> Don't feel bad for me. But I'm just gonna be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye now. <laughs> uh, so, this is a continuation of earlier. You know, I got on here and I was like, oh yeah, I'm uh, I'm uh, binging right now. And um, I'm just up and stuff like that. I always have really, really uh, great days. I always have really like positive times. And then I get uh, news. I get news. So, um, my birth father has died. My, my birth father has died. I don't know. I just want to call Stu. I'm going to call him soon, but I feel emotions and I don't even know why. Honestly. Because it's not like we had a deep relationship. It's not like I felt like I could talk to him or anything. I've talked to him. You know? I don't know. It's just a door. A door has closed. That door is closed now. <laughs> I wasn't going to walk in through that door. Even if I wasn't going to knock on that door and beg to be let in. The door being closed. I still feel something.
So. Yeah. Everything works out for me. I'm so thankful that my older sister, she reached out to me and let me know. I don't think anyone else would have known to let me know. And so I really love her for that. But yeah, I'm gonna call Stone now. <laughs>